the note is cool, but you want it real. Okay, I'll give you real. I'll give you the realest goddamn bricks you've ever seen. Just remember, if your computer crashes, it's not my fault. You asked for it. All right, let's make them real. Start with the brick texture. Make color one light orange, make color two dark brown. Change the mortar to gray. Now to make sure the mortar isn't perfectly straight, get a musgrave with scale set to 13.8, detail to 16, dimension to 0.1, and lacanority to 1.5. Now add a noise texture and set scale to 73.3, and detail to 16. Connect them with a the mix shader and set fact to 0 0.907. And if you drag that into color ramp and drag that into mortar smooth, you can control the outlines with this point. Now let's give the bricks a layer of shading with Musgrave and scale set to 22.2. Detail to 16, dimension to 0.9, and lacanority to 1.3. Drag it into a mix shader with fact set to 0.883, and drag that into a multiply shader with fact set to 1. Drag the mix into color 1 and the bricks into color 2. Now we need to add the wear and tear. The first layer just requires Musgrave with scale set to 13.8, detail to 16, dimension to 0.3, and lacanority to 1.3. Drag that into the distortion of a noise texture with scale set to 4.2. And again, let's add some control with the color ramp. Drag black to 0 0.471 and turn the white note into a dark gray. All right, time for some crack. Grab a noise texture and set scale to 5.7 and detail to 16 and drag it into color ramp. Put a white at 0, black at 0.473, white at 0.495, and a black at 0.532. Now duplicate and set scale to 4.5. Take two nodes off the ramp and put white at 0.389 and black at 0.532. Now mix them together and multiply with facts set to 1. And control it all with the color ramp. White at 0.216, black at 0.616, and white at 1. Awesome. Now to control it, click the noise node and press control T. From here on, scale controls how often the cracks occur. Now, I want them to squash vertically, so I'm going to set X to 6.8. Okay, so here we have our bricks, wear and tear, and cracks. Time to put them together. Let's mix wear and tear with the cracks with the multiply node and fact set to 1. Then mix that together with the bricks using another multiply node and fact set to 1. Let's clean it up with the color ramp and set white to 0 0.083. Okay, and from here, you guys know the drill. Drag it into a bump and set strength to about 0.633. Also, drag it into roughness, shift A, S, and Bert and drag it over to connection. And for the color, let's mix our bump map with the original albedo to get a sort of aged look. And then drag that into base color. Well, look at that. I'd say it looks pretty real. Almost as real as that subscribe button. They're so real, in fact, we might as well go all the way. Shift A, S, displacement, and set strength to 0 0.055. Get a mix node set to multiply and fact to one. Drag displacement into displacement and color into height. Drag the cracks into color one and the original albedo into color two. You're done. All right, congratulations, look at that. 100% procedurally generated bricks. And because they're procedural, from here on, you have total control over any changes you need to make. So this is what the diffuse map normally looks like. Dragging this left and right controls how thick and sharp the separation between each brick is. The fact on this mix controls how toasty the bricks look. The farther left, the more it shows up, the farther right removes the toast completely. The fact on this mix controls how much the cracks show up. You can remove them completely by dragging it all the way to the left or you can make them show up 100% by dragging it all the way to the right. This color ramp controls where the cracks appear. The white allows cracks, the black hides them. Scale X and Y controls the shape of the cracks. The larger the X, the more squashed they become vertically. The larger the Y, the more squashed they become horizontally. This point controls how much wear and tear shows up and this point controls how clean the final colored image is. And of course, you can still do all your normal brick things with the brick node like change color, change frequency, width, and height. All right, I hope that's real enough for you. My computer almost didn't make the journey, but I do it for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.